since we last spoke to you. How are you settling in now? Yeah, brilliant. I've settled in really well. You know, the lads have been really helpful. The gaffers um, helping me out as well, getting back into it. But unfortunately, I had to come out of training because I um, started getting the same problems that I faced last year when I joined, and that was through the hip. So I've taken a few uh, weeks out. Stu and the team are really getting into the hip and doing a lot of scar tissue removal, working on strengthening the hip again, and coming back to the basics and going back out again. It's a great medical team here, so I'm sure they'll help get it all right before you're ready to Yeah, it's been brilliant. I mean, um, Stu's obviously looking back into the problems and going back to the basics with it and looking at the root of it rather than, because so far it's been, um, I take five steps backwards and take two steps forward and we don't want to keep doing that. I need to get it right this time. It's just a case of getting it right before you sort of start full training again. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's unfortunate because I thought I was ready, and um, but you know, coming back to full-time football is difficult. And the intensity of the English game is, you know, it's like if they really get into it, so it's, it's physical. A, it's a big step over in, in sort of full-time professional training. Yeah, definitely, because, um, you know, playing abroad as well, uh, the weather helps a lot. I mean, it's a lot hotter. Uh, also, it's less intense and less physical, whereas the English game is really physical and you feel it in training every day. And Tuesday night this week, you were at the Asian Football Awards. You were nominated for an award yourself. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about that. Um, I was really fortunate because I got nominated for the Inspiration Award and then the category was pretty cool and unfortunately I didn't win but um, someone won it who really deserved it and you know it's, it's a great, great honour to be involved in something like that and be shortlisted. Um, I think it's a great initiative the Asian Football Awards because it um, not only highlights the players and the community and what people have done over the past for Asians in football but a lot of the backroom staff and medical and people that have left their legacy in Asians in football. Touch that obviously disappointed not to win, but it must be an honour even just to be nominated for an award like that. Yeah, definitely. I think I think moving forward it's highlighting a lot of things for Asians in football and you know, I'm lucky enough to be one of the few Asians playing in the league right now and it's important that role kids see the young youngs that see us coming up in so where we can highlight for the future. Do you see yourself very much as a role model sort of young Asian footballers then coming through? Yeah, I mean, especially since starting my charity, you know, the KSF Foundation, I found, like, becoming a role model and I'm getting approached by kids and parents and it's it's a great opportunity to kind of be that role model and kind of help them break the barriers that I had to come through. Yeah, I mean, you touched on there, you've obviously had the experience yourself personally, so you must have a sort of great knowledge you can pass on to the younger players. Yeah, I think I've been fortunate because I've not only played in England, but I played abroad as well. And it's important to highlight those careers to young Asians because it's difficult for us to see that a lot of parents, it's difficult for them to see there's not many opportunities out there. And some of them, you know, I've been able to witness those opportunities, experience them, so it's important to highlight them. And just a final one on the, on the community work you've been doing for the football club, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, we've launched our project in West London, um, Faith and Sport, and it's um, a great opportunity to bring something like that to Northampton for the South Asian community. And, you know, Next week, hopefully, we're looking at this Eid coming up, so we're seeing, seeing if we can do something in the community with the club and get the foundation together. You see, it's sort of quite a big area of the community that the football club can tap into, perhaps. Yeah, definitely. I think you know it's all over the country. Like, there's so many South Asians that love the game, but unfortunately, you never see people coming to the games. And um, it's something that I'd like to do: go out to the community and say, "Look, Northampton's a family club. It's a community club, and we're welcoming everyone." And me being here, it's like I want to kind of bridge that gap and, you know, bring more kids into the games. And it's not even about the games, it's just people coming to experience, you know, it's a great atmosphere. And I suppose once you sort of can get a few come along, that encourages more and then hopefully it sort of snowballs from there, really. Yeah, definitely. And then hopefully I can get myself fit and you know, just be, you know, a great situation to be in. Cool.